Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about what to feed plateau fence lizards. I have two temporarily set up, a, a male and a female, in this 10 gallon tank, and I will be showing you how to set this up in the housing video of this series. But basically what this series is for is you can't really get these lizards in captivity. So basically what the series is for is if you wanted to take some out of the wild to temporarily keep them, uh, just to observe them and kind of see what lizards are living in your backyard. So I'm here in Arizona and I have these two plateau fence lizards and today, like I said, I'll be talking about feeding. So these are insectivores and they will eat things like mealworms, superworms, crickets, uh, dew, or feeder roaches, um, let's see if I think, wax worms, and things like that. Basically any normal feeder insect that you have, anything that moves. Now what I'll be, fe I'll be feeding them in this video is grasshoppers. Now you can, technically I think you can get grasshoppers in captivity, um, but since these are wild caught lizards, I figured that if you're going to be keeping them for a short time, you're probably not going to want to go out and spend a bunch of money on food. I mean, it's not a bunch of money, but you know, you probably aren't going to want to go spend any money on food for them. So what you can do is actually go catch grasshoppers. Now there's a ton of grasshoppers out here in Arizona. So now we're going to be going and catching them. Then I'll show you them trying to eat them. And then I will show you me hand feeding, hopefully if I can get on camera, me hand feeding a wild caught lizard because these guys are normally pretty chill and I've gotten them to eat out of my hand before. So. Let's see how this goes. Also, you're going to want to make sure that all of those normal feeder insects are properly like gut loaded and you put some type of like supplement powder on them as well. But it really shouldn't matter too much if you are only keeping these lizards for uh, only a little while, say like a couple of weeks or just like a few days, something like that. Or I don't know about you guys, but honestly, this is like the most awkward thing I've ever watched myself do, and honestly, it's pretty hilarious. You guys can't really see it, but there's just tons of grasshoppers everywhere, and I'm really just deciding which one I need to focus on which is honestly kind of hard because as you can see there's just weeds everywhere so after one jumps it's it's kind of it's really easy to lose them and they're just like everywhere so i don't know why this is so hard but it's really awkward to watch and it would be hilarious just to walk by and see me doing this uh. now i'm adding all the grasshoppers in and the little lizard is trying to catch them. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull off the grasshopper's back legs so that it can't jump anymore. And then I'm going to set it right down in front of him so then he can eat it. I'm not saying that you guys need to do this. He'll go after it himself, but this way. He should eat it by himself. This is kind of just weird behavior that I kind of filmed. It's not exactly them going after it until the big one goes into the cave and then the little one goes after him. So as you guys can see there, they were very interested, but I think what happened is I moved them from a shady area, then I put them into an area that's in the sun, and this isn't really the time that lizards are out because it's really hot, so they decided to go back into their hide as you can see, they're using it there, and I'm going to put it back over in the shade so then they can come out and eat these grasshoppers, but they were definitely interested, and once I can see them come back out, I'm going to try to hand feed 
one to like get it to eat while it's on my hand. Okay, so I sped this up because you couldn't really see the grasshopper, which I did have in my arm. He just wasn't really interested, so I might try to go get mealworms at some point and try to feed it to the other one because, as you're about to see, I, I kind of lose this one on accident. But I might try to go get mealworms because that worked last year and I successfully did Okay, so I couldn't get either one to be hand-fed, but I've done it before. And it, it's probably just because these are grasshoppers. Before I used uh, mealworms and they ate them right away, so I'll, maybe I'll have to try that. But they have been going after these grasshoppers and the other one, the male actually, the one with the own, without any toes on one of its foot or one of its feet, it actually got away. It uh, jumped off the table and ran into like the siding like underneath the siding so I couldn't get it. So I just have this female in here which is alright and uh, she has all these grasshoppers to eat and she should be doing fine and then I'll be making other videos for this series so if you want more then subscribe and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Like the video if you liked it and uh, peace.